attic sewer rats, probably one of the biggest infestations we'll ever see this year. So in today's video, we're gonna set up our rat trap, twin trap, up in this attic to see how many, many rats, rats we can get. get. And we're about to get started right, right now. now. This oh, attic is unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. They were running around here, David. We need to put the twin trap up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Hey guys, let's get the twin trap up here. All right, guys, we're going to set the twin trap. We're going to decolonize this uh, attic, hopefully, with the twin trap. Now, you got to remember, the uh, rats are neophobia, so neophobic. So any new object in their space, it's going to take them a while. It's going to take them a little while, but uh, I think we should be good. Well, not only that, the problem is this may not even work because they could be getting food source yeah, elsewhere. Exactly. But we're going to give it a try. shot, you guys. This is the worst attic yeah. rat infestation I've ever seen. This bad baby will catch up to 30 rats. Jimmy, you want peanut butter? You want to do, uh, here, here. I'll just do it. I'll just feed it with peanut butter. That's fine. So what's going to happen, guys, is this. The rats are going to come up here. They're going to climb up here. And they're going to get into this right here. Let me show you how it rotates once I turn it on. See that? So that's what's going to happen. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Two days later, we're back up in the attic to check our twin trap to see how many rats we caught. All right, Dave's bringing the twin trap down. I'm going to take this one outside. Yeah, let's go inside. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and pull this drain some of the liquid out of here hold on oh yeah look at that you guys Woo. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen it's hard to count when you're stacked it's like up 14 like or 15 right there yeah. yep in a day and a half to two days right there guys that's how you get rats out of an attic now guys, we wouldn't be able to get this many rat out of an attic if they're coming from the sewer system. Because what'll happen is they are coming from the sewer system. They get normally get their food source elsewhere and then they come back in the home and nest and won't bite on the trap. But this is what we love about the twin trap is that you can set it up with a really good bait system. Once they get acclimated, they're just feeding off of this thing here. So this is what we love about this. But again, make sure if you're dealing with attic rats and scratching in your walls, confirm, especially if you have an ongoing issue issue confirm that they're not coming from your sewer system so watch some of our other videos on how we detect sewer rats one big point guys go up on the roof smell those vent pipes those sewer vent pipes and those bathroom vent pipes to see if it smells like urine that's a good key indication that they're sewer rats all right guys you, you can see if you don't get these rats out of your house look at the amount of damage contamination i swear i feel disgusting right now because of the smell it's incredible. It was in incredible. The worst infestation I've ever seen. Ever the amount seen. of grease. So really what's gonna have to happen in this particular house, you guys, is a developer's gonna buy it and just literally tear it down to go in there and remediate. And Try to see. sanitize and clean. It's not gonna happen. No way. Hey guys, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you'd have to say about this attic rodent rat hit infestation. that subscribe button. And we'll see, see you on, on the next one. one.